All right, so here goes our update on Godzilla, my baby came Lizard, and Draco, my baby New Guinea frill dragon. Yeah, I found out he's a it's a New Guinea, so he likes humidity and they, they're a tropical type of frill dragon. The other one's the Australian, which gets much bigger, but doesn't like the same humidity level as the New Guinea. As you can see, this guy is still evil. I mean, he's still a bad boy. I've been trying to handle him, and he just doesn't want to have it. You see, I mean, he will literally... Close your mouth, man. Calm down. No point getting upset. Hold on. I'm trying to get him to... All right. Nope. He's still... Still showing off. See the enclosure. Usually I put his food right there. Super ones right here. Um, yeah, this guy's growing slowly. He's like every other day or every three days. He really doesn't eat too much. The frill dragon is actually starting to outgrow him. There he goes. Oh, yeah, show you, show you flat. Let's see. It's actually pretty calm. I'm gonna grab him. See how he's doing. But yeah, upgraded to a really big water bowl. This guy can swim around in there. If you're wondering why I have them housed, um, they do fine. There's actually zoos that actually have, there's a zoo that actually has a bunch of caiman lizards housed in a big enclosure with a few other caiman lizards and some water dragons, turtles. You know, the caiman lizards are pretty good. They're not like, um... A lot of other lizards would be like some tech use would wouldn't have it for the lizards. These guys get along in a pretty good in a community. So they both do good. They don't bother each other. They don't really stay around each other all that much, but once in a while you see one of them climbing over the other one and they do fine. So I don't suggest housing different lizards together unless you really pay attention to their attitudes and how they do, food preferences, everything like that. The care, care has to be similar. You know, it is a pretty big enclosure for them. As you can see, they're both babies. He's right there. See that wood right there in the back? Usually the came lizard stays there. And the frill dragon holds down this whole wood right here. Right there, they got a rock under the heat light and this little bit of vines because the frill dragon prefers to stay on top of the vines more than on the rock to grab the heat but humidity usually stays about 75 percent try to get the humidity in here which is perfect 75 percent higher would be perfect for the caiman lizard and about 75 percent 65 percent is better for the frill so it's very similar Actually, when it goes lower than 70, the frill dragon stops to eat. So, let me see if I can take Draco out. Uh, Give you some idea how fat this little guy's getting under the light. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, he, he pretty much doesn't use his um his frill no more. Once they calm down, they don't use that no more. I mean, it sucks, but see, he has a nice belly there. Get real nice and fat. And this guy is just holding his ground. He is not moving. Usually, he used to run away. Now, lately, he just holds his ground and smacks and wants to bite now. Before, it was more of a headbutt. Now, it's definitely a bite. Taking long to grow. I wonder if this guy sees some food. There he goes, he's chilling. So. Alright, I got some hermit crabs in there. They do pretty good at clean up any dead insects that hit the floor, any leftover food. But once this guy gets too big, I'm going to have to take them out because 
they will try to eat them. They do eat crabs, these came lizards. Let me see. Uh, yeah, as you can see. Look at that, you can see all the way in there. He don't even want to move. He's trying to hold his ground. Yeah. So you got two foggers in there. Keeping that humidity up real, real well. Can't find the frill dragon no more. Oh, he's somewhere in the back. But Let's see if I can give you the oh, the whole cage. Yeah, so looking real good. I will be adding one more lizard in here, which will be a baby Philippine sailfin dragon. Hopefully, of equal size, and as they get bigger. I will build them a much bigger enclosure, but if the caiman lizard's a male, I'll probably separate him because he'll have so much more of a difference on the um the frill dragon. And keep the frill dragon maybe with the um, Philippine sail fin dragon. I'll keep him probably with the Philippine sail dragon because I want a male. And they get, they both, most of these lizards will probably get to about four feet if they're males. This one, the um, cell phone dragon. I think that guy, if he's a male, he's going to max out like two and a half feet, three feet, something like that. They definitely love, both these guys definitely love climbing. This guy's still trying to get him to walk away. Climb, go swim, something. Come on, man. As you see, I'm not getting bit, but he don't back down no more. Before he tried to run away, headbutt, smack. He's just becoming more mean rather than tame. Right. Still gotta keep trying though. Godzilla, his name definitely suits him. That's it.